Then what about the future president? Yeah. Well, you can have any attitude towards him, you know, because during his first iteration as president, he was dubbed as mostly a businessman that he uh, is not very well versed in politics. He can make a lot of mistakes. But from the outset, I can tell you that his uh, behavior when there was an attempt on his life, you know, I was impressed. He is a courageous person. And it's not just about uh, the uh, hand he raised and uh, his call to fight for their common values and ideals. Of course, uh, there was a rush of adrenaline, but a person shows their true color in these emergencies. And this is precisely one of those cases, and I think he acquitted himself admirably in a valiant fashion as a man. As far as politics is concerned, I don't know, during his first presidency, I don't know whether he's going to hear that, but I think I'm going to say that regardless. I think uh, he, he was harassed by everyone on all sides, he bullied, he was afraid of uh, making a step uh, to the left or to the right, saying the wrong thing. I don't know what's going to happen right now during his new presidency, because this is going to be his last presidency. Whatever Whatever he does, it's up to him to decide. But what he's been saying publicly up until now, you know, I would be loath to comment on what was said during the electoral campaign, because, you know, that was uh, a deliberate thing to fight for votes. But regardless, uh, what he said about his uh, desire to rebuild relations with Russia, to facilitate an end to the Ukrainian crisis, I think this deserves attention at the very least and I would like to take this opportunity to offer my congratulations on his election as President of the United States. As I said before, we are going to work with any head of state that is going to garner the trust of the American people and this is what's going to happen in trust, uh, in practice. And if he does what he has been promising, you know, uh, before the inauguration, if he makes a phone call, if he says, Vladimir let's meet you know I wouldn't be I don't think it would be beneath me to call him myself I'm simply not doing that because you know at a certain point uh, the European Western leaders were calling almost every week and then they stopped all of a sudden and you see we're still healthy very well we're developing if anyone uh, among them wants to rebuild contacts uh, as I said we have nothing against that we're always open we will rebuild these contacts and have a sincere discussion but so far there are many people who want to invade engage in a discussion they are here in this room so you're, you're willing willing to talk to Trump yes we are.